Screensavers website? We do. We've got a new Super Geek Challenge, and this week it's all about our spy cams. So go check it out. It's got some good pics in there. And also, I was checking on the free firewalls, and I didn't hear if you recommended Tiny Personal Firewall and also the AVG Firewall. Those are two other free firewalls that we've tested on the show in the past, and I can put links to those up at thescreensavers.com. Back to you, Patrick. Hopefully your decor matches. So anyway, we are talking about decorating today. It's Tech at Home Week, so we're showing you how to bring a little bit of technology and make your home life a little better. So I'm bringing you the Ross Furniture application. It's made by a furniture store, but it really is just simple and lets you plan out your floor plans. So now if we get scanned out, we can look at my bedroom. This is what my bedroom looks like. Not great. So here's my bed, and here's my doors, and here's my couch, this kind of thing. And it's very easy. You just uh, select from a bunch of different kinds of sofas, you know, anything. There's beds, there's tables. I think I'd like a settee. So then I just click it. It's over here, and then I can move it to wherever in my room I want to. Then I can really test out different, you know, different floor plans. Maybe I want to put my bed over here. Um, yeah, it's simple. It's free. It's a small little application. Just go to thescreensavers.com for the link and start decorating. My email address is morgan at techtv.com. Let me know if you like this application or not. Another cool thing is you can print your floor plans and you can save your floor plans. I forgot to tell you that. That's a good part. All right, what's coming up later in the show, Patrick? Stay where you are. Still to come on this very show, I'm going to submerge an innocent cell phone in water just to prove to you that we can still make it work, at least with a hairdryer. Plus, Martin Kick. Hello, how you doing? I'm back again. Whew, I know you're all saying, thank goodness. All right, if you take a look down in the corner of your computer, way down in the corner, I have a, is this for Windows XP only? Way down here in the system tray, la, 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 there is a little CPU meter, and it's gonna, see, I'm at 5% right now, I'm not even doing anything. This is a terrible machine. Um, but it's just going to pop, you know, it's going to sit there all the time and tell you how much of your CPU you're using. How do I get it, you ask? You want it to? I'll tell you. So that little icon comes up whenever you have the task manager running because, of course, it tells you your CPU usage and all that kind of thing. But what if you want it all the time there and you don't want your task manager running? I know you're with me on this. You're feeling me on this. All right, so you go to options and you go to minimize on use. And then you do hide when minimized these two little options here and then now when you minimize it it's going to go away and all you have is the CPU meter in your system tray so you know you run programs and it'll tell you what maybe is a more of a resource hog than something else um, and guess what happens when you put this little trick in your startup menu you make a short up, shortcut to this in your start, startup menu and you'll have a CPU meter in your startup menu in your system tray every time you boot your computer I know, I'm excited too. All right, there's lots of steps, so go to thescreensavers.com for the full set of instructions. I read it all out for you. And again, in case you missed it the first time, my email is morgan at techtv.com. Back to you, Mr. Hard News Guy. <laughs> oh, uh, coming up next, Pat has a few tech tidbits that are downright titillating in the boot camp segment. And keep watching tonight. Well, perhaps I do. Should teen drivers be tracked? They should be off the road, if you ask me, but I can't talk because I'm not that old. Yes, 5%, no, 95%. Now, you've still got 24 hours to vote, so if you're over 30, go vote and knock those numbers back up. All right, stay where you are. Pat and Martin are going to answer your final emails when we come back. Head, that's what they call it, right? The kids. Crib. Crib. Go to the website at the screensavers.com. Dot com. I had a crib in my house. Yeah. We, get, we got we rid of it once the kids got in the regular beds. Um, <laughs> let's check with Morgan Webb for the site of the night. You know, I went to UC Berkeley, which means I am all about good deals in education. Berkeley, I have to say, is one of the best deals in education oh, out there. Great school. Great school. State school. Yes, an excellent price. Yep. Which is why, for my side of the night, I wanted to bring something educational. Because usually there's, you know, monkeys dancing around the site or something yes. like that. Let's do something Let's smart. Let's do something educational. I agree with okay. you. Okay, well, I learned how to do JavaScript from the Netscape JavaScript guide. Whew. 
that was hard, wasn't it? It was. It's. Yeah. I actually printed it out yeah. at my old yeah. job. I wasn't doing much. It was about this thing. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. not the best best way to learn. No, I, don't think. I should have used it as a reference, but yeah. I found something a little bit better. Macromedia actually has an excellent one, and they walk you through a series of exercises. And if this is a great way to learn JavaScript, and it's completely free, of course. I'm not surprised because they have the best tutorials online at Macromedia for their own products. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Flash tutorial is how excellent. I learned Flash. It's excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It walks you through it. And it makes sense. The more people who can use your product, the more people who are going to use your product and buy it. A lot of people think of Dreamweaver as just basically a JavaScript writing program. I mean, that's really what it does it, best. Well, I sure yeah. needed a refresher course when I picked up Dreamweaver, that's <laughs> no for sure. Kidding. You forget this stuff so fast. Yeah. Um, but it just walks you the script tag. It's going to walk you through a, you know, a number of exercises. And does it get fairly advanced, or is it just for beginners? You know, it gets advanced pretty quickly, but it's one of those things that you need to look at it, and you need to open up Notepad, and, and you need to do it, yeah. and you need to figure out exactly what each piece means, and that's going to be the best way to learn it. Pretty easy to find it from the Macromedia main page? You know, yes. It's pretty easy to find it. Actually, I just did a search for Macromedia and, um, and, JavaScript. and JavaScript tutorial. You'll find it. Also, it's, of course, on our front page of our website right now, screensavers.com, so you just go there. That's Morgan Webb it wearing her Morgan school Webb. colors, I think. Are those not the... Uh, no, they're not. It's well, no, the school it's, uniforms it's, are on sale right now because, you know, it's back to school. It's golden blue, isn't it? My, oh, yeah, golden blue. Golden blue. Yes. Yeah. So yes. you're going to get some gold. about my schoolgirl skirt here. Oh, that. Yes. Well, yeah, but that's from, that's from high school, <laughs> right? Something We're just, like that. Something like that. We're just getting started. Find out how to synchronize. I remember high school. Do yeah. you really? Oh, sure. Yeah, that, that, that was before surprising. automobiles were invented. Find out how to synchronize your settings in OS X. I'm going to show you how to do it. in old style term means you're nice. All good right. Person. You are the bee's She oh, is the bee's the knees. knees. Makes less sense. All right. <laughs> the question is, what's the best way to fight the RIAA? In court, 1%. Keep stealing, 1%. All right, there goes that idea. Hack them, 98%. Shame on you people. And then why fight their right, 0%. Zero. I think I know our audience. All right, you've still got 24 hours to vote, so go vote already. And you know what? Coming up after the break, we will announce the winners of today's auction. See if you are at $1,000 for a kilt <laughs> right after the break. <laughs> Giving a, we're getting yeah. rid of, the, to, for charity. So much for the round of applause. Toby <laughs> Bixby won one on our left turn side. Neil 2007 won Megan's favorite t-shirt. Mad Dog 31, well, he got my kilt and my sledgehammer. Mad right. Dog 31 bought both of them for, what, like over $1,000 total. Either use them well or don't tell me about the shrine you're building, either one. <laughs> <laughs> and if you didn't win. It's a shrine to Patrick, isn't that don't sweet? Don't worry, a shrine to the mayhem and destruction. If you didn't win, don't worry, you've got one more day to bid on the very last items we're auctioning from our yeah, set. Yeah, we've got the refrigerator, my mm -hmm. old PC, the one that right down here. Yoshi's, Yoshi's ventilated mouse. mouse, the hunk of set, hunk of set, hunk of hunk of and burning. And those prices set. are low. These are all these are all things we really uh, uh, think should go for high prices, all uh, for a good cause. And yeah, by the charity. way, Yoshi, to, not uh, for to, us, for charity. For charity, isn't it? I could us? pay off my car if I was getting the cash. To for bump this. up the value of the mouse, Yoshi's going to throw in a second mouse. Nice. He's going to put in the one, the optical mouse known as Project Iris. Very nice. That, is that the one with the glowing LEDs? Very glowing. Two for one. That's a great deal. Nice. That's a great deal. We have a transcript up on our website of the live chat that Paul, Peter, and I did earlier today on our new set design. Yeah, I hope up. you participated, folks, in that one. It was uh, fun. Was it neat? Yeah, yeah 75, good... 80 people in there. That's great. That's, That's really thing. great. You can read the transcript at thescreensavers.com. Also on screensavers.com, links to our auctions, or just go to eBay and look for the auctions, the TSS underscore auction is uh, doing that's our uh, that's our uh, and it all goes to two great charities good stuff and uh, we really uh, we're excited we're thrilled Why don't we, have we, do we did anybody do the calculation yet of how much we've raised over ten thousand dollars over ten grand over ten grand unbelievable sure. good unbelievable. stuff ladies and gentlemen tomorrow is our last day on this set and that is it for this edition of the screen savers i'm patrick norton and i'm leo laporte we thank you so much for joining us and thanks to our guests jesse patrilla carbon bernson um, amanda pace james kim sumi, sumi das. das thanks to you for being here good night everybody bye bye hey this is great